Hi guys, Emma Mafflin and Curtis Braithwaite here for snookerfans.co.uk. We're here with Martin Gould after his 10-8 victory over Daniel Wells in the final round of the World Qualifiers. Martin, well done. Yeah, it was. It was A toughie. Very tough. Um, it was one of those games where, apart from probably the first couple of frames, I'm not in front, but then I just kept getting one frame in front. Then I managed to get two in front and he just kept coming back he kept, just kept coming back at me and I, I just couldn't shake him and then at eight all I just said to myself I've got to dig deep and show him what I'm made of and that's what I did with 132 and 86 I was right I just had to get myself into a momentum rhythm and everything and just once I did that that was it there was no stopping yeah, it was a great way to see you finish the match, pal. Showed your experience, obviously, yeah. previous ranking event winner as well, so you know what it takes to win when it really matters, mate. Like you said, powered in two breaks there, eight each, mate, and showed your class up. Yeah, no, it's about time. My arse was nearly full. Apart from the French. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to see you, pal. So, like, a couple of days now, off. Bit of time to relax yeah, now before the... Straight home after I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of seeing your boat race for a few days. I hope that doesn't apply to no, me as well. No, it never applies Thank to you. you As per much. usual, I'm always the one getting dug out, <laughs> but it's all right, mate. It's this one. That's, that's all right, pal. You wouldn't think we had dinner with him the other night. Do you know what I mean? No appreciation, that's all, do you mean? And Curtis actually paid for it. Do you know what I mean? See, that's what happens in this school. You pay and you still get abused, don't you? Oh, yeah, right then. You've got to be part of it. Part of the package, man. Yeah, it? Exactly. But no, mate, it's fantastic to see you back at the Crucible. It's fantastic to see you playing well again because this season's been a bit of a patchy one, not been in a lot of events, a lot of stuff going on off the table, yeah. but it's good to see you like hitting back some good form, pal, and playing yeah. well again. Yeah, no, um, like I say, I, I had some issues with not having a club for a long period of time. I've got that sorted, playing a nice gentleman's club in Northwood, Northwood Central Club. They're really good. They help me, they help me by letting me come in early in the morning because it's, it's one of those type of places that's only open at 11 to 3 mm. and then back open again at half 5 so it's mm. a bit annoying but um, it's, it's the rules so I, I want to stick to the rules I don't want to upset anybody the last thing I want to do is have to find another club again <laughs> so um, it's one of those yeah they've been really good like they've They've looked after me. The food in there is fantastic as well. That's well, that's always a win on the isn't it? That's why I love baby. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's, it's nice that I've been able to get some solid practice in. I'm not playing anybody of any like real name or anything. I've had a couple of games with Fergal and people like that. But um, I'm just doing my own thing, really, and I'm just enjoying myself. And if I'm enjoying myself, I can play well. Yeah. So, yeah. But the... the just to go on the comment of what Steve was saying just before and off yeah. camera. If it's an all sight right final, I'm leaving social media, I'll tell you that now, <laughs> because he will be unbearable. <laughs> an all -sight point. Right, he will be unbearable. I, I think everyone will want to delete and block him. <laughs> he will become a pain in the rear end. But mate, I just wanted to touch on the sight right thing as well. It's been excellent for you. Um, like I said, won, won a few ranking events in that. Yeah. German's master was a massive breakthrough for you as well, pal, and obviously like pushed into the top 16 of that. So yeah. Tell us a little bit about Steve and his impact on you and, and your um, game, pal. Well, to be fair, I, I'm, I'm probably his longest ever servant. Um, I've been with him since 2012, what are we now, 2019. So I, I must be getting itchy, because I've got the seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I must be getting itchy. But, um, yeah, no, he, uh, a friend of mine, Richard Float, sort of pestered me he said no, I think this guy could help you he's helped me give him a try and I was a bit like some other players that have seen him over the time they're kind of like we wanted to get a little freebie and not get too involved but I kind of said to spoke to my dad about it at great length I said look I'm willing to try something don't get me wrong I, I worked with Dell for a few a few years he helped me massively as well if it weren't for him I, still, I wouldn't be stood here mm. so he's got a, he gets a lot of lot of praise for what he's done for me over the time but I just felt that I needed something new something yeah. something of a change yeah. yeah I just felt that I'd hit a brick wall and I couldn't go any further so I started working with Steve and it was just complete eye-opener for me like just being able to see what I was doing yeah like I've got away with it for so many years yeah. not not realizing that I was that <laughs> far off line and, yeah. and not using my proper eye dominance and not doing anything properly so yeah I, I, I don't want to blow his trumpet too much because he gets blown enough <laughs> it is. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he's been massive. Like uh, the, the good thing is, uh, me and him have a good chemistry. I see that. We have a good laugh. I'm forever 
given him stick. I'll text him a five to three on a Saturday afternoon. I'll Norwich one nil down yet, and they haven't even kicked off. Yeah. So, yeah. but um, yeah, we have a good chemistry. We work well together. There are times, don't get me wrong, where I want to strangle him. There are. I do get moments like that, but I'm pretty sure he gets like that. With me. <laughs> Especially that, that doesn't tell me. When you spend a lot of time with somebody, yeah. it, it can get like that anyway. It's yeah, just yeah, natural, yeah. But, you know. And there's there's, there's so it, much stress around. Yeah, definitely. The tournaments and everything. Yeah. But it's 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 one of those where we always no matter how annoyed we might be with each other we'll always have a laugh and joke about it it's not a case of like we storm off and like yeah be in bad moods and not talk to each yeah. other for a long period of time so, oh, that's good but yeah I, i've I've, uh, i don't know if it's common knowledge but i signed a deal with him to have him to coach me for the, the remainder of when i play snooker quality so that's how much trust i put into him partnership. I'm, yeah i'm willing to have him in my corner until i say that's it that's enough for me until you I've retire enough, yeah no, that's I'll, I'll be retiring next year by then. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's fantastic Paul well look mate look, we're going to let you go and relax and chill and uh, enjoy the victory Paul but look me and Emma are very proud of your efforts this week and uh, yeah. all the best at the Crucible next week Paul well. cheers top man well thanks done. mate thank you cheers, cheers. Paul